Hey, this is Ken. Welcome to my van. Tonight it's uh, it's Wednesday about 8:15. It's raining out, uh, and I'm taking this opportunity to just kind of sit in the van and figure out how I'm going to create some solutions for uh, some of the things we have to build. Uh, one of the things I've learned about, built, about a van build-out is while you can look at it as this one big project, actually it's like dozens of smaller projects that you have to take on one at a time while still accounting for the next layer of project that needs to go on after that and, uh, and what the ripple effect of that is going to cause and what you're doing next. So. Um, you know, sometimes it really helps me anyway just to sit here, take some measurements, take a look at some things, draw some things on the wall, um, and take some pictures and, and just figure out how, we, uh, how we're how we going to do that. Let me explain what I'm talking about. So you can see here, these are the wheel boxes we built uh, over the weekend. And one of the things I had to do to these... Uh, you'd think a wheel box was really simple to build, but I needed to accomplish a couple of things with the wheel boxes. A, I didn't want them to just completely look ratchet. I wanted them to, you know, look like they were well done, be well custom fit, but they also had to serve a functional purpose. They had to create a support. Um, so I made them out of half inch, and I made three revs of these things. One I made out of framing a two by two framing and I was just going to cover it with plywood that didn't work out so I scrapped that threw it in the burn barrel I made a second version out of half inch plywood um, just standard plywood and I used the Craig jig pocket hole cutter to do the joints on the sides I'm not a fan of the Craig jig for half inch material if anything three quarter and bigger I really do like it but I, I wasn't a fan of it with the half inch so I went to a third rev of this. I didn't use just standard plywood. I used a beach plywood. Um, but I also needed to accomplish a, a task with this. While I wanted it to fit well, I needed this back piece to have a support. Because this board here is the main support beam on either side. And I'll just show you this side because the other side is exactly identical. But... I, this is the main support beam for a three-quarter inch piece of beach plywood that will sit on top of here and be my second floor. Um, now I do have uh, I do have a couple of support walls I will put down the center, but this board here serves as the as the end and the support for the end of the board. And while that seems like it would be enough, uh, the supports I have for this board here, I'm going to be putting. I have three two by fours cut. And they're they're L bracketed out. You uh, that's actually in a previous video I did, and they'll fit underneath of this, and then they'll connect to a board uh, a board down below here, and and in between these last two uh, two by fours, I'll mount a piece of plywood there, and that's where all my 12 volt fuse block will go, battery, all my electrical equipment will connect up uh, back in there. But here's my dilemma with this, and why I'm having to figure this out. You can see on the wall. On the transits, these sections here are inset. And remember, I want to sleep widthwise. So each side is going to, you know, from the edge of this board to the other side is 69 inches. Uh, and I need it to be a solid six feet. And there's a, a, without compressing the insulation too much, there's a good inch and a half beyond that board that this insets on either side. So that's going to give me a, my 72 to 73 inches, depending on how much I do compress that insulation. And if you'll notice, I've drawn here, that's where on top of this second floor here, that's where the actual bench will go. And when the table lowers down, this will be the height of the bed here. So if you recall in a previous video, we're setting the bed here at that line, and I have six inches of a, of a second step to get up to that platform. So I want to have a good support. You know, I'll have the two by fours over here on either side, but I have nothing under here. So I wanted this to come out an inch below, and this was already a really solid cargo bolt. So I wanted this box to be able to utilize this bolt 
really solidly connect in here and that's a really solid foundation there so i'm going to take another two by four i believe and 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 l bracket it out and then use that for a support here for the end but so that's you know that was one project that needed to take into consideration but an example of where this begins to fan out and further on down the road if i look straight up You'll see I have the holes up there. Now, the problem I'm running into, uh, not really, I mean, it's a problem. It's just something that needs a solution, and we'll figure it out. I need to create an inset wall behind that bench that I have drawn on the wall there. Hopefully, you can see that. And an inset wall that takes advantage of that space. So this can't just be straight up. So what I'm, I'm trying to calculate is is taking, do, do I just put a two by four below here? And I, I, I guess what I need to calculate is, do I run that stud all the way up the top there? Because I need a way to mount the inset wall. I, I, need, a, I need a foundation to mount a wall that's inset a couple of inches. So if I have a stud going up, I have some plywood going across, and then something coming down that side. And then, I, and then I frame that behind maybe an inch and a half all the way across there and then put some material behind that and bring it down behind this bench and then connect it into the back of the bench, I get a nice inset. And, and whether we put some, some art on that wall, whether it's an etching, a wood burning, or, or some kind of nice you know, like mountain scene or something, I'm not sure yet. We haven't really decided on what that uh, is going to be. Um, but what I'm, what in my head, what I'm trying to figure out is, is do I run that, do I do a single two by four here, or do I just run a, a solid one up uh, all the way? You know, so in other words, do I do two, or do I do just one all the way up? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking what we're going to do is do a, a two by four here. And, and the reason I'm putting that out here, remember being that's the second step, I don't want the end of that board having to flex too much because that's when you're when you're stepping up on that you know in here is going you know coming down here there's going to be a drawer that comes out this way and this will be step number one to get you up onto that platform but then remembering when it's time to go to bed then you need to hoist yourself up onto that height because there'll be a table come all the way across here so this will be uh, you know if i were to go from this drawer down here all the way up to that height that's going to be quite a hoist to get up there so i'm using that that six inch piece there that will be open on this three quarter inch plywood that come that the second floor is made out of so i don't really want this to flex at all if somebody decides to step on this side or closer to the other side so like i say i'm going to put like a two by four bracket there to to support that end and I have a feeling what I'll probably do is run a thinner piece of wood because I don't want I don't want to encroach too much on the living space of the van. So I'm feeling what I'm going to do is run a thinner piece of wood up, and then behind that thinner piece of wood, whether it's a two by four or something, again thinking of weight in it, but but mounting some piece of board behind that so that gives me my framing down this side, and then I'll create framing down that side. Uh, to build, to, to put in the inset wall back behind there. Um, so that's kind of what, uh, what I'm trying to figure out tonight. And then mount that up across the top. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Uh, you know, again, sometimes it just helps to sit in the van, look at all the pieces you have, the holes you have. Remember, there's a couple of things about this build that I'm, I'm trying to accomplish. A... I don't want to drill a hole in this van. I don't want to. I don't want to mount any self-tapping screws in this van. Um, I don't really plan on that anything about resale. But I like the idea of creating, of bolting everything in. So if I wanted to change it, every, the van will be made in a modular fashion. So I could, you know, disassemble a section of it and reassemble it in a new fashion. And that adds a whole next level of. Well, I, you know, it would be great if I just wanted a stud there. I'll just throw some self-tappers in and, and whip a stud up there. So I have to work with the holes, and I think there's plenty of them, but I have to work with what the factory gave me to work with with this van and get creative of how we build that space out. 
you know, I'm talking in some places two by fours. Well, again, I don't want to encroach on my space and the living space in the van. Um, and up on the up on the tops, you know, as I showed you, the fact that we're going to be sitting up this high, I I don't, you know, we're not putting cabinets up up above here. So if I run studs up high, there'll be cedar tongue and groove above me down these sides. So if I put studs up there that are too high, well now my cedar tongue and groove is sticking out too far. And when you're sitting up here on these benches, now your head's going to be forward because you've got this, you know, you're going to have this cedar tongue and groove that's pushing you out uh, forward. So I'm trying to think of that comfort factor as well and how we figure that out. So I'm thinking what we'll end up doing is creating studs that are thin and then on the insets mounting behind that and building backwards to be able to create the framing to do that inset. So if any of you out there have a suggestion, you're seeing what I'm talking about and you're going, are you serious? So if any of you are out there, uh, have some, suggest some suggestions on something I'm not seeing or you go, hey, Ken, you know, very simply, you could be doing it this way. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, it's nicer to have a couple of sets of eyes on a, on a project and, and perhaps I'm just overlooking something. And there's, you know, as I said, it's a lot of tiny projects inside of bigger projects, inside of sections of projects that are one big project called a van build. So, you know, I just, I just don't want to get layers out into the build and go, oh shoot, we could have done this or we should have done that because now this thing layers out here is off and it, and it could have fit perfectly had we just done it that way. So I try to take these nights like tonight where I really don't have time to do a ton of work, but, but I consider this a, a grand part of the work of the van. The next two weekends, I said in an earlier video, I want to finish this van, not, let me be clear, substantial completion, I'll call it, uh, by the beginning of June. And I have two three-day weekends left in May. So I have six full days, um, minus a Memorial Day picnic or two. Um, to get this substantially completed. I do have a lot of this stuff built. The second floor is built, the benches are built, uh, and they're all laid in the support walls for the second floor. Everything, that's all built and down in our basement labeled. I didn't want to have it installed yet. I did kind of tack it in a couple times. You've seen that in some other videos, but that's all laid out in the basement right now, ready to go, ready to be installed. And, and as I need it, I'm bringing pieces of it out, and I'm installing it, taking measurements, and then I'm going back and I'm building the next section of it. So right now, it's the, it's the inset walls. And uh, so, you know, yeah, it's just a Wednesday night in the van, just kind of sitting, reflecting, taking a look. Is there anything I've missed? Is there, what do I need to do next? And taking a look at some of these other things that I know are out there on the horizon that I need a solution for and I don't want them slowing us down. So I'm taking these opportunities just to sit, uh, sit in the van and just kind of think it through. And, and what I have found with this build that that actually happens a lot and, and I find some of the most productive work coming out of that because I can make some drawings and, and really reflect on it the next couple days and, and be ready to go. So until next time, uh, this is Ken. If you like the video, smash the thumbs up button for me. I, if you like the content we're putting out and the things we're talking about, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and consider sharing the video. And again, if you see some things I talked about tonight with the concepts we're talking about and you go, hey, you could just do it this way. Like I've never built an inset wall before. So I'm trying to think through logically what that needs to be in order to work properly and sustain somebody leaning against it, etc. Give a shout out in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have an idea out there that would make this a whole lot simpler, uh, and we'll go from there. So again, till Ken, this is uh, yeah. Until next time, this is Ken. Peace. We'll talk to you.